Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited about this video today because as you probably saw, I'm going to be ranting about my favorite Studio Ghibli movies and also painting a Kiki's Delivery Service shirt. If you don't already know, I am completely obsessed with Studio Ghibli. I love all their films and it's honestly like the only thing that I own like merch of and like constantly do fan art of. I really love them. So today I'm going to be talking to you about my top six favorite movies because I couldn't narrow it down to five. So let's just get right into it. So my top Studio Ghibli movie is Castle in the Sky. It was released in 1986 and was actually Studio Ghibli's first film. And it is just the most beautiful movie I've ever seen. It is stunning to look at. I love the plot line and the characters just, my heart hurts whenever I see them. They're so cute. And Castle in the Sky takes place in the 19th century and follows two orphans named Patsu and Shida and their adventures to find the floating castle of Laputa. And it is a stunning movie and the music alone can make me cry. It is a gorgeous movie and it is a great starter movie if, if you haven't seen Studio Ghibli films before. It's a great coming of age movie and adventure movie. So if you haven't seen Castle in the Sky, you have to watch it. It's stunning. The next movie I want to talk about is Howl's Moving Castle. Howl's Moving Castle was released in 2004 and it's based off of the 1986 novel by Diana Jones of the same name. And I haven't finished the novel yet, I have it, and I've read like half of it and then forgot I was reading it, but I know the plot lines are slightly different in them, but I've heard really good things from both of them. Hulk's Living Castle has been my top favorite Ghibli movie for a very long time, even though they switch pretty regularly, but it's a very cute romance story, and the movie is set around a young girl named Sophie, who one day gets cursed by the Witch of the Waste and goes on a journey to break her curse. That's when she meets Howl and my favorite character Markle, he's so precious, and a fire demon named Calcifer. Like I said, it's a great romance and action movie and I know you're not supposed to like Howl, but I just can't help fall for him. He's so pretty and I just I love everything about this movie. And the first two thirds of it are honestly the best part of the movie. The last third gets a little bit hard to follow if I'm being completely honest but it's still definitely worth watching and I still love watching it every single time. And Howl's Moving Castle has some of my all-time favorite Studio Ghibli scenes, like when they're walking through the gardens. And Howl's Moving Castle also has my all-time favorite soundtrack. Merry Go Round of Life is the theme song for it. And please just at least listen to the soundtrack. It is to die for. It makes me cry every time. So the next movie is from Up on Poppy Hill. And Up on Poppy Hill was released in 2011 and it is based on a 1980 Japanese comic of the same name written by Tetsuro Sayama. If I'm saying that correctly, I really hope I am. So this Ghibli movie is a little bit lesser known. It's not one of the super popular ones. It was scripted by Hayao Miyazaki, the main creator of all the Studio Ghibli films, but it was actually directed by Goro Miyazaki, who is his son. So this movie is more of a slice of life or coming of age film. So the main protagonist of this movie is Umi, who is a 16 year old girl attending high school. And one day at school, she meets a boy named Shun. And it's kind of about their growing friendship and romance throughout the whole movie and takes place mostly around their school. So this movie is the cutest thing. It makes my heart so happy. And around the middle of the movie, um, one of the plot lines comes up that's not honestly my favorite, but you have to wait until the end of the movie to fully judge this movie, trust me. You wanna watch the whole thing. Cause I know some people have mixed feelings about this movie, but I personally love it. I think it's stunning to look at and it's just so sweet and endearing. And again, one of those lesser known Studio Ghibli films, but still one of my top favorites. So the fourth movie I'm going to talk about is Spirited Away. So the movie follows a 10 year old girl named Chihiro. And one day while exploring a seemingly abandoned amusement park with her parents, Chihiro gets stuck in the spirit realm and has to toughen up and work in the spirit realm to free herself and her parents. So this movie is kind of a coming of age film for her and growing up I watched this movie a lot so it's a really classic Studio Ghibli film for me and growing up I related a lot to Chihiro and for a lot of people when they first watch Spirited Away they're kind of unsure about it because it does take place in like the spirit realm so there's a lot of interesting creatures but I think it's a really fun film and definitely one worth watching. So the fifth movie is Kiki's Delivery Service. So Kiki's Delivery Service was released in 1989 and it's adapted from the 1985 novel by Iko Kadono, which I'm probably not saying correctly, I'm so sorry again. And this movie follows a young witch named Kiki and when witches turn 13, they have to live away from home for a year in order to build their skills. So it follows her as she moves to a new city and takes on life on her own with her cat, Gigi. And this is a really great coming of age and slice of life film again. And it's very cute and it takes place in a little city by the sea. So every time I watch it, I instantly want to move somewhere by the ocean. 
Um, this film also has one of my all-time favorite characters, which is Ursula. She's a little artist who lives out in the woods and Kiki meets her and stuff, and I love her character. She's so cool. This is just a really classic Studio Ghibli film and not a whole lot goes on in it, but it's just a very nice relaxing film to watch that always leaves me with a smile on my face. And the final film I wanted to talk about is The Castle of Cagliostro. So this movie was released in 1979 and it's not actually a Studio Ghibli film because it was actually Hayao Miyazaki's future film debut. It was co-written and directed by Hayao Miyazaki, so although it's not actually a Studio Ghibli film, it's still by the same creator. So this movie was created for the Lupin the Third series, which is a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Monkey Punch, and it was made into a television series and many movies. So Hayao Miyazaki co-wrote and directed this film. So this movie is a great action and adventure film, and it follows the main character, Lupin, who after robbing a casino, discovers that the money he stole is counterfeit. So he goes on a mission to figure out where the counterfeit money is coming from, and on the way meets a Princess Clarice, who is being forced into a marriage in order to find the treasure of Cagliostro. So he teams up with his regular gang and figures out the mysteries of Cagliostro. And it is a very fun movie to watch. Again, it has some beautiful shots, as all Studio Ghibli films do, but this one definitely has a different tone than usual Studio Ghibli films. So it's just another really fun film that's also directed by Hayao Miyazaki, so that one's also definitely worth watching. And that is all the movies I have to talk today about. Woo! And also, here is my finished shirt. It's beautiful! Oh my gosh, yes! Please. Oh, it's so I bet amazing. It works really well. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. And after three days of painting, here is my finished shirt! So I painted this shirt with Decor textile paints I bought recently for myself. And I love how this shirt turned out. I think it looks super cool and I love accuracy. So I think I did a pretty good job of recreating it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you also like Studio Ghibli films, feel free to comment your favorite ones down below. There are so many more great films that I didn't mention, but are also definitely worth watching, so you can hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. I post a video every Friday, and I hope to see you soon. Bye! Thanks for watching!